Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, October 17th. Got some red coming in today. Dow's down 133. NASDAQ, weakest, down almost a percent, down 148. SP futures down 28. So big update yesterday, or pretty pretty decent update yesterday. And uh, now pretty nice swing down to the downside here on the futures. So <clears throat> and I guess I'm gonna get some continued down movement today. VIX all the way back up to $18.15. Yesterday was a kind of a tough day to trade. Played Boeing really well. But uh, other than that, I had a my two other trades were minus 140 bucks and plus 140 bucks. So thank God for that Boeing trade that it played pretty good, but there really wasn't a ton of options yesterday in terms of good looking setups. <laughs> I, Mondays aren't my favorite day to trade, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, I I like much better. So hopefully we'll get in some good setups today. Bell's going to ring here in a few seconds. There is the bell. <laughs> Dow opens down 117. NASDAQ futures down 167. S&P down 32. And the Russell down 10. See if we get some continued down movement here. Might be a day to put on an iron duck trade potentially. A few stocks pushing up here. A little bit of two-way action going on.
Square pushing up. So subtle stocks pushing up here. Dow is now only down 55. NASDAQ's still the weakest, though. Down 166. S&P down 29. Put in a zero DT iron condor. And somehow it's already up big. Morning, Bumblebee. So first page here, I'm getting a lot of stocks pushing down, but then second page here, I'm getting a lot of stocks pushing up. Getting a new bar here in just a sec. You looking for some quick growing volume bars? NVIDIA down uh, a little under 6%, one of the weaker stocks. Meta pushing through those. So, man, these NASDAQ stocks really getting hit hard. Uh, NASDAQ now down 175 But Boeing already getting a big volume bar to the upside. So that's interesting. Boeing going to give us another chance. Other than Boeing, not seeing any good volume. Boeing did push up through highs. So that would definitely qualify for an upside volume runner right now. Actually, I take that back. So if you look at Boeing and Thinkorswim, the volume bar is not big like it is in my Orion. So it's a good thing I checked toss. Anybody else having a big volume bar in, in Boeing? Mm. Okay, so just must be wrong here. Let me uh let me close out of my 
All right, and reopen it. Maybe I'm not sure there's a glitch there or what, but. Bumblebee is seeing a big volume bar in Tasty Works. So that's interesting. So we got a big volume bar on Orion and Tasty Works, but think or swim, it's not. Weird. Roku. Yeah, Roku's Roku's already there. So look for a little pullback in Roku. And today we trade the three days to expiration option chain. But we're really firing up, I can tell you that. So we'll look for a pullback in Roku. Roku, I would trade the 67 calls. Trying to get filled at a buck 75. No pullback in Boeing. Mix up five, a little over 5%, five and a quarter. Well, it looks like it's going to get another big bar, at least according to Orion. Riot blockchain looks like it's going to get a big volume bar. Zoom had a big volume bar to the upside. No pullback. Yeah, Roku came down, but then it popped right back up. I couldn't couldn't get filled.
Yeah, Riot's got a big volume bar. Disney getting a little, maybe a mighty 90, but it's going to have to push up. Coinbase potential mighty 90 as well. So I'll cancel my Roku. Pushed up, left, left me, and I didn't, I didn't get filled in time. Yep, Piton with a mighty 90, as long as it doesn't get as big as the first, if you want a small stock to trade. Yeah, it looks like I just got filled on my zero DTE trade for uh, about 30% profit. Uh, let's see, Annette. Make sure you use the Discord chat. Okay, don't use the Zoom chat if you're new. Use the Discord. It's not a big deal. Are these day trading settings available in trading view? I'm not sure exa exactly what you're meaning by settings. You mean like the like my Orion setup here? Ah, uh, not that I know of. That might be a Steve question. I think he uses trading view, but I don't know. If he uses it for day trading. So Disney with a mighty 90. Look at Disney. Ah, it's already come down a little bit. Darn it. I'll see if it pops back up. Yeah, Coinbase had a mighty 90 as well. X stock staying weak, man. It's... Yeah, we we've, we've been talking about Boeing. There's, there's been no pullback. In Roku, I tried to get in down here, but it missed it. Nice, Bumblebee. Good to see you got in there. AMD staying weak. And Tesla staying weak. And some things really coming down. NVIDIA might have a mighty 90 long.
Roku pulling back a little bit. So NVIDIA, it's like it's going to have a mighty 90 long here. I don't think that bar is going to get as big as the first. So I'm going to look at a mighty 90 long in NVIDIA. And I would do the 430 calls. Wait, wait here just a sec, see if it'll come down some more. That Disney Mighty 90 would have been good. Same with the Coinbase. 430 calls, trying to get filled at eight bucks. Build at 810 in NVIDIA. That was the 430 calls. So I like it when it's coming down to the last 30 seconds. I try to adjust to get in if it's a good setup. NVIDIA is getting big to trade, though. So Roku pausing here a little bit. Might still come down for you. Uber volume runner. Give me a sec and I'll check that. I was looking at Roku getting long now that it's pulled back a little bit. 67 calls in Roku. Trying to get filled at a buck 80. Build it a buck eighty one in Roku. That's the sixty seven calls. Now let me take a look at Uber. Yeah, downside volume runner, runner in Roku, or I'm sorry, in Uber. Problem is though, is like it hasn't the price movement hasn't moved any. You can see it's like a really tight range. That's the problem with it. So Nvidia, you could probably get a better fill than I did now. So that's the thing. Sometimes you get, I get good fills, and sometimes you get better fills than me. Close half my Roku at two bucks. I may be adding to NVIDIA. And if NVIDIA is too big for you, just don't trade it. But I'm going to add. Build at 685 to add. NASDAQ down 234. Goodness. It 
See, I would close half my NVIDIA at... Jeez, it's kind of a wide range there. I'm going to say 775. And um, Roku got filled at two bucks to close half my Roku. Filled at two bucks to close half of my Roku. So nice pop up there. Boeing pausing a little bit. I don't know. It's got more and more push up in it or not. Filled at 775 in NVIDIA to close half. <clears throat> I would close a quarter of my NVIDIA at 850. So looking for two consecutive green bars in NVIDIA. Get out of another Roku at 215. What else we got here? Boeing pausing a little bit. Could be a chance for an upside continuation runner here. If I wasn't long two stocks, I probably would get go with Boeing. But a little cautious about being long three stocks in a weak market. Because at any point, it could continue downward. So I'm just going to keep my eye on Boeing. Roku coming back down. I don't like to see that out of a volume runner. Volume runner, I want to see it take off. That bumblebee, this nice job. It's got a nice little pullback there. Really considering Boeing here.
Let me get out of another NVIDIA here. Build at 870 to, to uh, get out of a quarter of NVIDIA. All right, Boeing, 185 calls. Build at 365 on the 185 calls. So NVIDIA giving us one green bar. I'd like to get one more. I only got one contract left in NVIDIA. And so so NVIDIA, you know, it's a big stock. So I went in with two contracts originally. Uh, and the reason I do that is because, uh, because I can add to it, position size to add. So then I added two more. And then I got rid of two and then got rid of one. You know, one left. Where kind of pausing here. I wonder if it's going to continue higher. NASDAQ still down 205. Roku kind of pausing here. If it goes comes down below this uh, consolidation right here, then I'll bail on it. And somebody was asking about a continuation runner yesterday. So a push up like this and then a just pause would be a situation that would be a good good set up for a continuation to the upside. All right. Good job, Bumblebee. I'm assuming that was a profitable trade for you. Yeah, you can you can see how it's it's pushed up and now it's just pausing. Okay, so I'm I'm in a mighty ninety in Nvidia with one contract left. So I can decide to cut it or just see if it'll run higher. I mean, the the rules are to is to close it out after two consecutive green bars here. So I may just close this last one out as high as I can get it here. Yeah, I'm going to close it out. Build it 10 bucks. Ooh, that was a good one, boys and girls. Great Mighty 90 there. That's probably your ideal Mighty 90, man. It's got good volume pop. It, it, you know, then it, and it came down to this pivot and I added to it. I only wish I would have went bigger. But, you know, originally going in for four contracts on Nvidia would have been like 3200 buying power and I'm I'm using 2 to 1000 to 2500 usually so if I thought I went in 3200 I probably wouldn't have been able to add to it and right, what else we got see square is looking like a continuation to the upside all right, good deal, Jim. I could have actually got out. I could have got out better price if I waited a little longer. I just didn't want it to do what Tesla's doing. Like sometimes it'll push up and then it'll slowly retract the rest of the five minute bar. So that's why I just got out because I knew it was going to be a good profit. Man, you know, the NASDAQ is down over 200 points, but some of these tech stocks are look like they're getting strong.
Look at this di Disney Mighty 90. Would have been a beautiful one that I called out. Coinbase might be getting a big bar here now. Oh, Intel had a nice looking, well, I guess I was going to say Mighty 90, but that bar is almost as big as the first. Ooh, Roblox coming down. Boeing getting this three bar pullback. If it comes down any more below here, I'll probably just bail on it. Roku coming down. Yeah, BA. I, I'm in. I'm. I'm long. I'm long in BA. Uh, yeah, I mean, Apple could be a downside continuation. You got this push down, came up to this pivot, looking like looking forward to roll over. I think I'm going to go ahead and get short Apple here. Downside continuation. 175.2. I jump in here. Build it a buck fifty six. And so if Apple pushes through this pivot, I'll probably just bail on it. So it could be a really quick trade. So that's kind of my key level. I want to see it get forced back down. Roku barely hanging on here. And look at NVIDIA coming back. Man, I should have just let that one contract run. VIX is up six and two thirds. Okay, so Apple, I'm going to close it. Build it a buck 49. So here's a lesson on continuation runners. So I waited until it came up to this key level to get short. And so there's two things that'll happen. It'll roll over and be a winning trade, or it'll push through the key level. But because it doesn't take much for it to move through your key level, it's a small, small losing trade. So low risk. So when you, when you, when you find things like continuation runners, you want to try to get a, into a low risk trade. It's like, okay, it's going to go with, it's going to go for me right here. Or if it goes against me, I'm getting out really quick. And therefore I don't have, it's not going to be a big loss. And so it's always important to um, try to keep your, 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 your losing trades small, right? Okay. Boeing. I need to close half here. I forgot to put an order in. Closing half at 420. 
we did have a half here. Go to 410. So close to half at 410. I just need to get out Roblox getting a big volume bar. C square. Good. Big push up, a little pause. There's that continuation runner set up. Okay, so see Apple. Good out in Apple. See that? So it became a quick losing trade, which was a small losing trade. Wow, look at these pushes up right now. Not really sure what's going on here with the market, but I'll take it. I am long Boeing and I am long Roku still. Airbnb as well, you know, push up, pause, trying to push through highs. Ooh, Netflix had a real good looking mighty 90 long. Take a look at that. Nice, Jim. Okay, see this mighty 90 this is a good example of a mighty 90, guys. There's a significant difference in your volume with this one being bigger than the previous. And then if you could, if you would have gotten filled down here at the bottom of the price bar, that would have been a nice winning trade right there. Yeah, square would have been one that I called that out. Would have been a winning trade. So close another Boeing at 450. And closing another Roku at 220. Filled at 220 in Roku. I had that order in for a while. Finally hit it. I'll look at Square, man. Square would have been such an awesome upside continuation runner. Would have been a butte. Not sure what's going on, but something's happening. Uh, filled at four fifty to get a quarter of Boeing. Tesla mighty ninety. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I I don't like that. See the difference between that one and Nvidia and Netflix. There's not as much separation. Looks like Roku may get a big volume bar to the upside. Holy square. Wow, that would have been a great one. Two Boeings left. And I got five Rokus left. C 
So I'm not really sure what caused this big push up, but I was glad I was long two different stocks. Target getting a mighty 90. See that? But, man, this, the Dow's flirting with green. Now it's flirting with green. Amazon through highs of day. Same with Microsoft. Need Boeing to really rip up like Square did here. Boeing looking like it's wanted it to hold. I don't want it to come back down. Uber, you know what? I'll put Uber in here instead of there's so many stocks here I'm putting in here that I don't really trade because they're, they're not good. Uh, let's see here. Like Lululemon is too wide of. Yeah, I mean, it had a big red bar, so it would have been a failed. You would have, it would have been a failed volume runner. Now it's, it has a big green bar, so it's kind of all over the place. Zero DTE trade is up about a thousand bucks. Too bad it's paper. Too bad it's paper money. But I'm up about a little under eleven thousand dollars for the month of October in the zero DTE trading, paper trading. I'm excited about that. I, I told myself I'd give it a paper trade until about the end of the year. With that strategy. But having such a successful first month makes you want to do the real thing right away. But man, it, it just, there's going to, I'm sure there's going to be some, I need, I need to learn more about it. Like, I'm sure there's, Going to be some you know, a month in here. If I if I can be positive, I, I figured for three months, then I would start doing real money. So Boeing needs to get going. It's got such a tight range here. I was kind of hoping it would push through highs. Airbnb wanting to go through highs. So not really seeing 
Anything else I want to get into here? Target still has that mighty 90 if you want to get short target. So I want to see Boeing push back up here in this next uh, five-minute bar. Otherwise, I'm going to cut it. I've got an order to close another Roku at uh, 240. The meta had this push up. Now it's pausing a little bit. Kind of looks like it wants to rip again. That would also be a, a pretty decent continuation runner setup. But I would rate, wait for it to come back down a little bit more if it got filled right about here. And then if it pushes through that level, then you can just bail on it. Range is pretty tight here in Boeing. I'm not going to give it much more time. I feel like I've got a profitable trade in it, so it needs to get going. I'm going to lose my patience with it. I mean, in the last 35 minutes, it's got about a one-point range. It's not very much for $187 stock. Again, uh, if you want to see a good continuation runner play, Apple pushed down. A little, little bounce up here to the pivot. I got short. And um, knowing that if it pushes through the pivot, I bail. It did not roll over for me. I pushed through, or it pushed through, and I cut it for a small loss. All right. I'm just going to close my Boeing. Probably experiencing some theta decay. If you want to keep yours open, go ahead. Go for it. Build at 385. I only had two contracts left and I just didn't want any more pullback to suck out profit. And it wasn't really, it's not really moving. So I had data decay working against me as well. So I don't think I'm going to get any more trades guys. Um, <clears throat> Roku. I'm just going to hold it. I've got, um, Five more contracts left, so if it can, if it can hopefully push through like Meta's doing. I'll continue to to scale out. Otherwise, if it comes down below yesterday's high, I'll just bail on it. So that's how I'm going to play that, and I'll post my fills in the day trades channel. I'll be back Friday. You guys get Steve in the next two days. Talk to you later. Peace.